So, I know a lot of you folks who watch my channel love tiny fiberglass campers, and that's why you watch. And I have a treat for you, the tiniest of the tiny fiberglass campers. This is a compact camp. It's owned by Mark, the gentleman I've been sharing this site with for the last few nights. And he's a painter, and uh, he travels around on his gold wing towing this incredible, awesome, tiny camper. You have to see this. You want to give us a tour? Show the inside features of the caboose, which I've nicknamed this little guy. Um, it's been 25 years I've been camping in this, sometimes 100 days a year or more. Yes, I do have a house that I live in, in between, but um, this, little, this little house, oftentimes I, I sleep better in. It has three inch uh, resilient foam, and this is the sofa. At night, this table goes down, the other board comes in, that can make a booth this way, for three. It also sets up over there, a booth for four, and you can stick a kid on the end and a stool. Or you can do breakfast in bed like this, and you put the other board in there and sleep one. But with the two boards in, it's for sleeping two. It's actually double bed width, not queen, but double. And I have a sheet that I put on these, and I have real pillows with pillowcases to sleep on at night. It's not like I'm roughing it here. I won't show you my bathroom. It's pretty small. <laughs> it's an empty tea bottle. The windows. Nice resilient stuff, 25 years old, never cracks, the screens. And when it's really hot, you can zip these guys all the way down, leave the screen door shut, and have a bug-free cabana where you're almost like sleeping on the beach with no clothes on in Mexico, if you've ever done such things. Pull this one down and get a little cross ventilation. And he's making them now without a table. It's a glorified sleeping bag on wheels or, a, you know, a, a bed in a tub. This table has been more fun for more people, including myself. And you can see the, the history on here. I've never refinished it. Of course, it all collapses into the box with the art supplies, the cooking stuff, the golf shoes, the bicycle shoes, the bicycle helmet, the books. I don't have a sink, but my cook box is a sink. It's also a bathtub and a laundry tub. So you can do all the things you need to do if you really want to do them. And actually doing laundry in my little cook box tub is quicker than on vacation going to a laundromat and watching the damn machine spin. And you get a little bit of exercise too. <laughs> so I've replaced all the pipes in here mostly that were heavy steel with aluminum and these guys are better behaved. And of course lighter. The Hondopotamus doesn't like to tow this guy up really steep hills like here in Central California. Most everywhere else it's fine with it, but you know, I put some stuff in here and um, if I wouldn't load it, it wouldn't be any big deal. It uh, weighed in when I bought it at 265 pounds complete. And I've added the electric fridge um, and a screen on the outer room so I can sit outside when it's raining and not be cooped up in here and put my other bed board out there for a cook table. And you can also sit it in the middle and have two little Helionox chairs, or whatever those little guys are, like I've got one back home. And have a screen porch. And so this is the alternative to a big bus where it's a half hour to set up, mom back, mom back. It will usually be set in about three minutes. And it stores in the garage up against the wall over the winter. The damn paint that I carry is even heavier than oil paint. And um, it's suitable for kitchens and bathrooms and uh, wallboard. And it's held to paint with it, but to kick me out of my habits, um, it's actually kind of fun. It weighs quite a bit. It travels in the camper. This year I brought too much, but I've already used half of it on two canvases. As you can see, there's a little bit of impost here. Maybe it's more like frosting. And um, I'm hoping 
uh, to do a portrait of Bex here, which will be an absolute riot. We'll sit in the shade with just a little bit of uh, reflected light coming off the ground to give some, uh, some definition to features. And, um, you know, most painters will use these little, I could bring these little doobly tubes and paint watercolors, but I'd be bored stiff. As you can see, I like to bash around in the bushes with the mountain bike and paint vigorously. So, So that's it, loaded for bear. Well, that's too much. And then just these two sticks come out and wham, it's down. Cycle doesn't even feel this guy if I can run around the yard with him, <laughs> except when you get on a hill. And then, uh, Just, you know, one more thing to always be thinking about ice is a nuisance. Say goodbye. Goodbye, Bex. <laughs>